Hello, this is Mark Steelinger from the Swap School here to tell you a little bit about our wetland delineation training and this is our 2010 video class syllabus. A few benefits of our wetland class is first off if you are interested in the professional wetland scientist certification or getting recertified through the PWS program this class does offer continuing education and does count toward your certification or recertification. It also counts toward the training requirements of a, a number of states that require certification. For example, Virginia, where you would have to sit for a test, and before you can sit for the test, you must take our class or a similar class. If you are in business or want to get into this business, this class is an excellent opportunity to teach you the skills that you need to, to move forward with a program like that. And if you are looking for a job, this is an excellent resume booster, as employers are often looking for employees who have the training they need for the jobs that they're trying to place. Now we offer two options of our class program. First off, we have the traditional program, which is the traditional classroom program, which is basically 20 hours of classroom and about 18 hours in the field. And the nice thing about this is you can get it all done in one week. A similar type program is our online program. It takes about the same, about 38 hours total, still about 20 hours of what we'd consider a video classroom. Um, you can work at your own pace, and we generally recommend you take about five or six weeks to complete this. This is a very nice, easy pace and a good way to learn the material. But they are both uh, recognized by all the groups that offer the uh, certification programs, and our classes have been through these, uh, many, many students from these have been through here many, many times. Now, the classrooms, there's three locations. We have NC State University. We offer that classroom class several times a year. We have uh, in Columbia, South Carolina, the Columbia Conference Center, and in New Jersey, we have the New Jersey School of Conservation. And all of these have the same basic 20 hours, two and a half day classroom program. The New Jersey School of Conservation, because we're in an extremely remote location, it also includes room and board. We actually have a what amounts to a summer camp facility that we offer the class at, and this includes the lodging and the meals. Now, the online class is PC Mac compatible. Uh, it's basically all on the web. There's no software to download. You basically need a, a, a standard web browser with a few extra plugins like Flash to be able to watch Flash video and things like that. Uh, you work in the cloud if you're into the new cloud computing topics. Uh, the, the idea is that all of your data, all of your information is stored on the remote server. Uh, the, the classwork and everything else is on the remote server, so you all you have to do is log in and work. So you can do this on your personal computer, you could do it at a work computer, you could do it at a library, you could do it at a coffee shop, wherever you want. It's, it's housed uh, remotely and you don't have to download anything. All your work is saved online and is backed up frequently. Um, and it also bookmarks where you left off. So if you are watching a, one of the longer videos and you get a phone call, just log off or just basically all you have to do is click close it and it'll pick up right where you left off. Now as far as the course content goes, the course is based upon the US Army Corps of Engineers Wetland Delineation Manual. It, it's developed from the old certification program. And while the certification program is no longer active, it does serve as, as the core, if you pardon the pun, uh, basis for the, the program. It is a very very good wetlands program that the Corps had developed in the early 90s and has been modified over the years to include all of the new changes and so forth but at, at its heart it is still the core program. We do include discussions on the appropriate regional supplements. It, the class is not intended to be a regional supplement class because this is generally a introductory class and regional supplements tend to get more advanced. Um, however in New Jersey we do cover the federal manual as well New Jersey has its own set of rules as far as wetland delineations and they use the federal manual for delineating wetlands and our class in New Jersey covers that as well. Now quickly through the different types of aspects of the class we start out with the introduction and this is where we cover the wetlands laws, the US wetland history, the rules and regulations, things about the Clean Water Act, Section 404, Section 401, more or less how the heck did we get here? <laughs> so that's where we start off with. We roll into the Army Corps of Engineers and why is it the Corps of Engineers? How did they get involved in this? What is their role? What manuals do they use? And what is this wetland delineation approach that they've come up with? So we cover some of that uh, in this introductory kind of phase. We then roll into some of the aspects of the Supreme Court and the implications that the Supreme Court has had on the wetland delineation business. The Rapanos and Carabelle court case was the most infamous one. It has significant impacts on 
jurisdictional aspects of wetland delineations. While a wetland may be a wetland, it may not necessarily be jurisdictional, and a lot of that is based upon the three most as important aspects of any real estate, and that's location, location, location. So we have a little bit of fun with this, and it, we do cover a lot of the issues with, related to the Supreme Court. We then jump into the National Wetlands Inventory, and this is a classification system. We cover some of the things that you can do online, such as with Google, and also using the NWY Wetland Mapper. And as far as vegetation goes, this is the first of our three criteria. We address what is a hydrophyte, we talk about the different classifications of wetland vegetation, and we, we go over the sampling methods that the Corps wants you to use to document your wetland vegetation. For hydrology, Similarly, we're going to identify what is hydrology, what are we looking for when we talk about wetland hydrology, what are the methods for identifying hydrology, what are the, the signs, so to speak, in terms of if we're not seeing inundation or saturation present at the current time, how do we know it might have been there. And finally, soils. Soils is the most intense topic. It's the one we spend the most time with. We cover everything from how to basically do a soil profile through what is a hydric soil, how to identify these different aspects of hydric soils in the field. We deal with the new core rules on uh, soil identification, hydric soil identification, as well as some of the National Technical Committee hydric soil identification techniques. We cover the soil surveys and the online resources, and we cover how to do a soil pit, how to identify the soils, how to lay out a soil profile. So we're going to give you everything you need to know about soils. This is all three of these criteria are addressed in the classroom, and then, they are, then the field application is demonstrated in the field. Finally, we get into the wetland delineation, and we're going to cover the different approaches on this, the plant community studies, the transect sampling, data point studies, how do we put down the boundary, and what sort of documentation do we need. We're also going to cover problem sites, atypical disturbed wetlands, as well as the known problem children wetlands, like vernal pools and, and seasonal wetlands and things like that. In order for this to be of any value to anybody, we have to sum this up in a report. So we're going to give you everything you need to be able to write a report and what should be in the report and how should it be prepared. Now, the field days are the part that everybody gets excited about. It's going to be two contiguous days in the field. Generally, if we're taking the online class, you're going to meet the classroom students in the online class. So we're going to kind of combine you together. And it's usually this, the third and fourth day of the class, which is usually a Wednesday and Thursday. We break into small groups. We work as a group collecting data, filling out the data forms, marking the wetland boundary, and basically applying everything we've learned in the classroom. We have several locations. We have the North Carolina Piedmont as one location. In South Carolina, we have the Congaree National Forest, and we have special permission to work at Congaree National Forest, and it is an amazing place to visit if you get a chance to get down there. It's a great place to go. And at New Jersey, it's the New Jersey School Conservation, which is in the highlands of New Jersey, right along the Appalachian Trail, and a great location for a class. As far as equipment, you're going to need a soil logger, you need a Munsell soil color chart, local plan ID guides, and definitely be prepared for the weather. We work rain or shine, so be prepared for the weather. And other equipment that you might need could include different types of field gear and things like that, and we cover that when you sign up. So sign up today, learn more about the class, you can go to swampschool.org or call our 800 number, 1-877-479-2673. Drop us a line if you have any questions, and we look forward to seeing you in the swamp.